Okay, I've, I've got so much energy, I'm going to try and do this video justice. So I've been freaking out trying to figure out if there are actual historical pre-Abrahamic interpretations of Samael, the uh, Jewish archangel Satan, and I found it. There are. There are actually. There are pre-Abrahamic roots. So Lilith can be traced back to Mesopotamian mythology, which is actually true, but I was like, told that Samael also could be, but I'm like, I don't know about that, but I'll look into it. And yes, I did find something, but I didn't find it from Mesopotamian mythology. All right, this is a quote from the Zohar. It says, my rule is over the planet Madim Mars. Samael says this in the Zohar. It says the number 19.8.142. So that's in the Zohar and it says, right there that Samael rules over Mars, which makes them, according to this same article, comparable to the god Mars, to Ares, and to, it also lists, Karti Kea. I don't know who that is, but another thing it would make him comparable to, who is actually said to work under him, is the, the Jinn king of Mars, Al-Amar, from Islamic mythology, um, that one is said to be the King of Mars, the red one, the um, blind one, he shares that title with Samael, and that Jinn King of Mars could also be seen as synonymous or comparable to um, Samael, because Samael is said to be the ruler of Mars, but also um, in the Kabbalah, in the Tree of Life, they would be the Sephiroth Gebura, would be for Samael. So going by these definitions that is provided in the Zohar, you could say that a pre-Abrahamic root for Samael then, since he is seen as synonymous with Mars and the ruler of Mars, would be the god Mars, actually. And so I actually looked up when is the oldest mention of Samael versus when is the oldest mention of the god of Mars or the god Mars. And the oldest mentions of the god Mars can be traced somewhere around the 4th to 3rd century before Common Era, which would be, I think, around the 300s to 400s BCE. Whereas the oldest mention of Samael is from post-Talmudic and Talmudic lore somewhere around 500 BCE. So we see from this there is at least a hundred year period roughly that you could say um, was before Samael but still using the imagery of Mars and the things associated with Samael. And I'm so so thankful to have learned this and to have researched this because I really wanted to find pre-Abrahamic um, variations of the same energy that is prescribed with Samael because I really love Samael and that is one of my highest revered patrons but I'm interested in um, in finding the oldest things I can find on this because with the ideas of pantheistic Satanism which I've recently been doing some research into um, they say that a lot of these different things can be traced back to pre-Abrahamic sources but I wasn't so sure if I was if I um, personally was would be able to find a pre-Abrahamic um, root for Samael, but I, I think I've found it in this, and I'm very, I'm very thrilled about this because it makes sense him being with Gebura and Mars energy in the planet Mars that he could be seen as synonymous with Mars in that way, and then looking back further, that would be older than the name Samael. <laughs>